Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rim from Rim's Atsi Bai and it's Halloween time. So, a very very happy Halloween to all of you. So, it's Halloween time. 31st October is Halloween, so I'm here with a very special painting, Halloween special painting. So, come join me in my art journey. Let's paint something spooky and Halloweeny and scary. I hope you will be liking it, and I hope you are looking forward to seeing some Halloween special painting from my side. Which is why I thought, why not paint a special type of Halloween painting? So today's painting is, will not be just a painting. It is like clay work as well as painting club together. So I hope you all will like it. Uh, without any further ado, come join me in my art journey, and let's learn how to paint a Halloween special painting. Come, come. Let's go. Uh, if you do consider my videos uh, worthy enough of your subscription, then please, please, please subscribe to my channel. So come on, guys, let's start painting. So I had this cake uh, board available, so I thought of making use of this and making something special on this Halloween painting. So basically, I thought of upcycling it to something uh, special and spooky, something beautiful as well. So let's start working on it, guys. So this is my work table, nothing exciting about it, it's very clumsy and because I have no time to paint so my entire work table is very very clumsy and at least today it's very clumsy. So anyways, leave that aside and let's start painting guys. I had this cake board available in my house and uh, I just uh, cleaned it and preserved it for upcycling it sometime. And now it's time I think to get my hands on it and turn it into something really really beautiful. I'll be using some clay for my painting. So here I'm using fevicryl molded for the purpose. So let's see what's there inside. So inside each of the package you will get these two things, one hardener and the other resin. You have to mix them together and make a dough like this. So remember this is air dry clay so you have to work really fast before the clay dries out. So I'm making some shapes here uh, to resemble the main symbol of Halloween which is pumpkin and I will paste it onto the board with the help of fevicol. And here you will see me making the eyes of the pumpkin. Actually not many Indians are that much aware of this Halloween thing. This is something that is celebrated mainly in the United States or you know outside of India. So actually these pumpkins or carved pumpkins are known as jack-o'-lanterns. And during the Halloween season you will find these jack-o'-lanterns on almost every porch. Carving pumpkins or making jack-o'-lanterns is one of the most popular activities practiced in the United States during this Halloween season. Now let me give you a brief introduction of what Halloween actually is. So in the United States, the month of October has one singular focus which is Halloween. And the holiday was originally observed as All Hallows Eve, a religious celebration to remember and honor the dead. Over the years, Halloween has evolved. These days, October is the time of the year that grocery stores sell frightening amounts of candy, jack-o'-lanterns decorate every yard, and people spend hours creating scary costumes to debut on Halloween itself. So while 31st October is celebrated in many parts of the world, no one does Halloween quite like the US. There are many uh, fun Halloween traditions that are followed, like making jack-o'-lanterns as you can see. For many families, carving pumpkins is quite an ordeal, but how do you actually make a jack-o'-lantern? It often begins with a trip to the pumpkin patch to select the perfect pumpkin and after picking one out, the real fun begins. Once you cut a hole in the top of the pumpkin, scoop out all the seeds on the inside until it's completely hollow and then carve a spooky face complete with triangle eyes and a scary smile. To top it all off, put a candle inside to make the face glow. And that is exactly what we are going to do uh, in this painting. We are not making an actual jack-o'-lantern, of course, but uh, we, we are making replicas of it. Popular Halloween activities include trick or treating, which is related guising and souling, carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, lighting bonfires, apple bobbing, playing pranks, visiting haunted attractions, telling scary stories and watching 
horror or Halloween themed films. Anyways, today we are going to uh, make something that is related to the Halloween thing and uh, here I am painting the board and the uh, clay murals that I just did. I am applying a coat of gesso on it. This is mainly to even out the surface so that application of paint becomes easier. I'll be painting the background first. So I'm using three colors here. One is Indian yellow, yellow ochre and lemon yellow and yes another one also. I'm also using white here. So I'll be making the background first. I'm just trying to make the background a little spooky and so I'm using these colors. So keep watching guys. I'm sure you'll like the final outcome. Since we are trying to make everything very ghostly and uncanny and weird uh, in order to go with the topic of Halloween so I am making this like you know ghost house and a very spooky tree. I am making a graveyard in the background to make the atmosphere a little more uncanny and spooky. I will be applying a second coat on the pumpkins now. So I am using my fingers to do that in order to uh, make the texture a little more rugged. Now that it's almost done, I will add some more definition to the boundaries and the carvings and I am using black color for this purpose. So it's done guys and this is how it looks. And once the painting is done, I will uh, use some varnish to seal the paint. This is going to prevent the paint from uh, peeling off. And I'm using a gloss varnish for this. Uh, just add a few drops of varnish on the painting and then 
uh, spread it evenly using a flat brush just like I'm doing here and please don't worry about the milky color of the varnish uh, once it dries up it will become transparent and your entire painting will look extremely glossy and the colors will also be sealed Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video and if you did, then don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you don't miss any new video that I upload on my channel. A lot of hard work is actually involved in uh, making all these videos. Uh, let me tell you here that I am not a full-time artist. I have a full-time job and I paint and draw whenever I get time and whenever I do, I do that with a lot of love and with a lot of passion like my videos and please share it with all your friends and family and let others subscribe to my channel uh, i'll be more than happy to help all of you i'm also there on facebook and uh, on instagram my instagram handle is rims underscore artsy underscore vibes and facebook page is uh, rims artsy vibes so i hope you follow me there so please keep supporting me guys. Uh, if you have any suggestion for me then please feel free to comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to hear from you guys and I'll be more than happy to follow your suggestions. So anyways guys bye for today and meet you again in my next episode with a brand new topic. Till then bye take care and I, as I always say keep painting and keep enjoying your art journey. Till then bye bye.